Hi. Implementing circuits based on schematics can be confusing, and sometimes more examples help people get the idea. This video provides another example of implementing a circuit which has a single source. Here's the schematic of the circuit we want to implement. The first thing we need to do is identify nodes in the circuit. We're only measuring voltages in this circuit, so we don't have to worry about current measurements creating additional nodes. I'm going to call this node here, node A. This will be my node B. Node C will be here. And node D will be this node at the bottom of the diagram. Next, we'll decide how to implement the source. I'll use channel 1 of the analog discovery waveform generator to apply this 4 volt difference. Remember that the analog discovery sources all apply a voltage difference relative to the discovery's ground. The choice of source and where we apply the ground to our circuit are related. If I put ground here, then I can connect channel 1 to this node and I'll set channel 1 waveform generator voltage to positive 4 volts. If I wanted, I could swap these two. I could put ground here, channel 1 here, and then set this to negative 4 volts. It should be exactly the same thing. I'm going to measure two voltages in this circuit, the voltage across the 6.8 kilo ohm resistor and the voltage across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. The polarities that I'm going to use are as shown. Now let's create the physical circuit that goes with our schematic. First, I'll choose rows to correspond to our four nodes. I'll insert connectors in the rows I choose to keep my place and make it easier for me to find my nodes later. This row will be node A. This will be node B. This one's node C. And this node is row D. Now let's connect my power supplies and ground. Channel one of the AWG, the yellow wire, goes into a hole that's in the node B row. and ground goes in a hole that's in the node C row. Now I'll connect my resistors. I have a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor between nodes A and C, a 6.8 kilo ohm resistor between nodes B and D, a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor between nodes A and B, and one kilo ohm resistors between nodes A and D and C and D. Finally, I just need to connect my voltage measurements. I'll make the voltage measurements with the analog discovery's voltmeter instrument. I'll use channel 1 to measure the voltage V1. Since node D is assumed to be at the higher voltage, I'll connect channel 1 plus the orange wire to node D and 1 minus to node B. I'll use channel 2 of the voltmeter to measure the voltage V2. For this measurement, node A is assumed to be at the higher voltage, so I'll connect the 1 plus terminal, the blue wire, to node A, and the 1 minus terminal, the blue wire with the white stripe, to node C. I've already got the waveform generator and the voltmeter instruments opened and set up. In the waveform generator, I've set the voltage to be a constant value of 4 volts. To apply voltage, click on Run AWG1. The voltage displayed on channel 1 of the voltmeter, V1, is about negative 3.3 volts. And the voltage displayed on channel 2, V2, is about 0.93 volts. These values are close to what I calculated that they should be. It looks like I implemented the circuit diagram correctly.